Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have some homemade Italian spaghetti and meatballs and we're talking about how you should play what you want to play. So guys, 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 hello um, once again. Well, it happened. My, uh, my dear old mom stopped by for a visit and uh, guess what? She's Italian. And while this may look like a store-bought spaghetti sauce, I mean, look at those meatballs. They're all homemade. And let me tell you something, guys. My mom, or any mom, your mom, your friend's mom, whatever, when they know how to cook, and they know how to cook well, gosh, it's just totally different. It's league apart from what you can buy in the store, guys. I wish you had smell-a-vision, taste-a-vision, whatever, because this tomato sauce is so flavorful, so packed with those Italian herbs and seasonings, man. Whew. Anyways, anyways. Um, so, let me mix this up just a little bit. Oh, and off to the side here, even though it's the store-bought stuff, you gotta have a little bit of that Parmesan on top. I know, some people rag on me, the canned stuff. What are you doing? What are you thinking? But it's all I have at the moment, so it'll have to make do. Let's just get a twirl of this in here. I can't move it too far because we got the plate in the way, but guys, oh my gosh. Looks like normal spaghetti, but tastes like heaven. Man, oh man, I cannot tell you how much happiness and joy this meal brings me, being Italian myself, or part Italian, whatever you want to call it. Let me try to get one of these meatballs here. Oh, spaghetti wants to come with it. All right, there you go, that Italian spiced meatball with that beautiful sauce on there. Sorry, can't get it to focus here. So amazing, so delicious. Forgive me for the praise that I have for this meal. I mean, I know I'm going a bit overboard, but again, a true, good, home-cooked meal Gosh, guys, you just cannot beat it. Cannot. I would say this uh, this pasta sauce simmered for a good, you know, three hours to get those flavors infused in there. It shows. It really shows. No sugars or artificial flavorings added. Just pure ingredients. One more meatball. All right, guys, so today's discussion is play what you want to play. Recently, my friends have all been asking me even though you don't like Bless Online, even though it's so mediocre and whatnot, come play with us. Come spend your money in this game and waste some time for good camaraderie. And while guys, while camaraderie and guild events are fun, you gotta play what you wanna play. I would rather save my money. I would rather go play a ROM, an emulated game from the 80s, I would rather go play World of Warcraft for 14 years in a straight row than be dragged into a game that I don't really want to play, that doesn't seem that interesting to me, that doesn't appeal to me. It's really simple. Regardless of what your friends, of what your community does, you got to play what you, the gamer, ultimately want to play. 
Because in the end, games are just there to entertain, to enrich our lives, to have fun. And if you're not doing something you want to be doing, well then, what are you doing? Check out that Parmes Parmesan on top. Forgive me for any plate scraping because this is a metal fork. Tell me in the comments below, what's your uh, go-to home-cooked meal? Can you make it? Does your family make it? Is it a tradition passed down in your family? Because man, this dish right here, I sure hope that it continues down many, many generations of my family because it is awesome. She did add, add quite a bit of meatballs this time though, as can be seen. A variation of this dish, this uh, spaghetti sauce, is made with pork, uh, pork loin basically. And oh, that version of this sauce, heaven, let me tell you. Trying to get through these meatballs, but oh man, it's getting heavy. Oh, trying not to get any on the table here. Alright, so, another thing, when it comes down to it, when you want to play a game and your friends don't really want to do it or your guildmates don't really want to do it, you just have to break away from the herd. You gotta be an individual, you gotta stand alone, you gotta have the courageous effort to do things like that. Me for example, since I'm waiting for the WoW X-Pack, since my friends are all playing blessed, but I don't really want to get into it, I don't really want to let myself down in that way because while it may be a good game for two months or whatever it's just ultimately a waste of my time I feel so I think I'm gonna go back to a little bit of Total War Warhammer 2 bring you some uh, vampire counts battles some playthrough see what's changed in that game examine stuff that I really enjoy you know about playing the campaign about playing certain races and uh, yeah you know you guys too. Follow me along. Break away from the herd. Don't don't just jump into MMOs just because they release and they're new. MMOs that have uh, just copycatted and copy pasted. And I'm sorry, not just MMOs. Any game in general that have copy pasted a winning mechanic just to make the cash grab. You gotta stay away from. You just can't be a part of that ludicrous fad it's a fad it's all it is it comes and goes and the chances of many players staying in a game like that for more than a couple of months so very slim so so very slim
It's almost buying, <laughs> sorry, it's almost like buying a new pair of shoes. A new pair of Nikes comes out, everybody wants to buy them. Then a new pair of whatever come out, and everyone wants to buy them. But they forget about their old shoes, they forget about the fun they had in their $20 pair of Reeboks that they skated through the skate park with, or whatever, went hiking in. You know, you just can't forget old content, you can't forget old games that make you happy. And I feel like that's the problem with a lot of games nowadays. They just kind of follow the trend, get in there to get their money. Really don't care about what they're doing or what they're bringing to the player. They just want that one and done mentality. And this is especially true of Korean, of Asian, of European MMOs. This meal has been fantastic, but man, gonna have to work off these carbs later. All right, <clears throat> we're kind of getting there. And you'll probably be asking, what is this sunk hunk of bread over here? Well, it's simply a uh, crusty piece of bread, pretty hard. But put a little garlic and butter on it. You know, you gotta have your uh, side garlic bread with any pasta dish. The last meatball. I also want to hear about <clears throat> if any of you have guilds that have tried to coerce you into playing games that you really didn't want to play. Maybe they want to take a break from your current game and get into something new, but it's not in your best interest. The garlic bread is always used to soak up the sauce at the end, guys. Look at that chunk of garlic in there as well. Oh, hard to see. But there's actually chunks of garlic in this bread. Well, there you have it guys, a delicious dish by my dear old mom. And no, don't tell me to lick the plate clean, we're not savages here. But remember to game, eat, and discuss. Play what you want to play. I'll see you next time guys. Later.